you guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Game Corp DX Episode 6, and of course, Spiky Balls, because when you're this good, your balls are spiky. That doesn't sound right at all. Hey, I never noticed his L on that shirt. That's pretty cool. I let's see he has a big L on his shirt. That's awesome. All right, so on the last episode, I was absolutely insane. I was going over that footage, and I was insane. I was insane. So many things. So many things that I just did wrong. But whatever, I don't care. I don't care. It's my first playthrough. I'm having a blast with this game. So let's just keep being crazy. Okay, so uh, first things first, we have a medium game that they just we just started putting together. So yeah, Rob Zombie Terra Flying. <laughs> really? Um, and it's a role-playing? Yeah, it's a role-playing game. Yeah, Rob Zombie Terra Flying. That's awesome. And Fartport the Journey is just about done. <gasps> I can't wait! That's gonna be the best game. It's a racing game, so it's the journey of... Uh, I don't even want to speculate what that's really about. But anyway, <laughs> terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So in order for us to do this uh, medium game, we're gonna have to... Uh, they have to plan it out. And, and for them to plan the game or do some of the pre-work game stuff, uh, we have to give them a nice big table to work with. So we have to actually move some of this... Some of these, some of these training booths. I don't think we need so many at this point anyway. So we're gonna shift some of that up. Yeah, so these, I think four boosts is probably good. We can always add a couple more if necessary. And uh, we need five tables. So we'll move this one to the end. Then we got three on the in between. Yeah, I think that'll work well. I think so. All right, so let's put these in here like that. And then they can actually do the uh, uh, the pre the pre project stuff. What do they call it? They call it the pre production. Pre production. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, it's been a while since I've played. Okay, the pre production of. The next game which is rob zombie terra flying okay so they can start to work on that right now and we can just close this ah there we go everybody can get to work and also we can actually do some uh, of course enhancements um i was when i think enhancements i think like bionics <laughs> um oh itzio oh we should get itzio training yes and yeah so a couple things that i just wasn't thinking about last time and oh oh fartport the journey is out <gasps> i've been waiting for this game <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, here we go. Um, 652, uh, we'll give it small marketing. I mean, 652 for a small game is pretty good. I think I think small marketing is probably good. That's a lot of money, 100, 132,000. I, I, it's a drop in the bucket at this point, but we're trying to save some money for a large project, which what was it, like 12 billion or something? A crazy amount of money. So let's go ahead with that. Fartport, the journey. I would love to see the trailer for that. You know, there's some crazy games out there. So, you know, like Shower With Your Dad or whatever it is. Like, crazy name. So, Fartport the Journey really isn't that crazy. Koka Kotaku didn't like it as much, but uh, go out and get Fartport the Journey. It is very good. That's what they say. So, that's pretty good. All right, continue. And 782 fans. That's awesome. Okay, and uh, we should have enough actually even to maybe start another medium game. Because I think we had 24 people total. Yes, 24 workers. And we've got... Uh, we're gonna have four in training and other stuff, so let's put John Doe in the machine. Oh, uh, yeah, John Doe can go in the machine. He likes too much. He likes chicken way too much, and he's also very unfocused. Produces worse quality. Ooh, hopefully get rid of that one. Okay, and training. Who's training? I don't know. Somebody's, uh, learning Surreal Engine. So, a couple things. Um, last episode, uh, I... I didn't realize it, but we can we can already train our guys. You guys pointed out, of course. You guys pointed out because you guys are very observant. Um, you guys pointed out that we could be training our guys to level three in all of the different tools. But you know what? I, I'm not in that much of a rush. I wasn't in that much of a rush to do it anyway. We, I mean, we got to get everybody up to level two before we get up to level three anyway. So I don't know. One thing at a time, right? And another thing that you guys were pointing out is that when you start a new project. Um, there is actually a back button. I'm sorry I didn't see it. I, maybe I even used it before, but for some reason, last episode, I was crazy. I was insane. Okay, so yeah, there is a back button right here. Whoops. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. Do we have 10? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's 9 people available, which means we can only do a small project right now on top of the one that we're already doing. So let's do that. Let's do a small project. We've got one that's role-playing. So we're gonna do one that's, uh, what else is, yeah, nothing else is really great here. Strategy? Yeah, sure. Do another, do a strategy game. Yeah. Zombie Prankster. Oh, that's a good name. Zombie Prankster. Um, uh, well, we've got Rob Zombie Terraflying. So this can be like an offshoot game. This is like, this is like the, this is like the RTS version of Rob Flom, Rob Zombie Terraflying. The 
<laughs> the role-playing game, and Rob Zombie Prankster is the RTS where you can pick on, I don't know, a zombie. It's a zombie phase. I don't know. The gaming industry went through a zombie phase, so that's that's what's happening here. Whatever. Okay, so yeah, it is going to be... Oh, man, back. Um, this is going to be a small game. Yes, team size four. And uh, yeah, let's get uh, let's get the usual guys. Let's get Gabe in there. No, no, let's, let's train up some guys that haven't actually worked enough. And guys that don't need any more training or enhancement. That's probably the best plan. So then I can actually throw them into the machines and such. Uh, we still need a music guy. Oh, perfect, perfect, there we go. So kind of a mixed bag of guys. Some new guys that need some work, some practice anyway. Perfect, and all the level two tools. Yeah, so we can actually start training our guys up to level two now, which is great. Um, but, uh, or level three, yeah, so, th which is awesome, however, uh, um, we, hopefully, hopefully we can make enough money to actually start working on a large-scale game soon, too, but I don't know. I don't know if we'll get there in time. Oh, Dick, 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 L, Dick, I don't know what his name is. I could just gotta stop saying Dick. <laughs> he arrives later than usual to work and eats a lot of chicken. Regular trips to the fridge. Okay, so that he can go into the machine for sure. And uh, anybody else need training? Like regular, plain old training? No, but we can... Let's get Gabe up to level three in TryEngine, which is CryEngine. Oh, I get it. That's awesome. Um, Somebody... I think it was uh, Gamer. I don't remember who it was, but uh, somebody was saying that they, they had done a speed run of this game and finished it in like a totally unreasonable amount of time. So congratulations, you know what, I think it's awesome. And who knows, a speed run would be really cool, but I still have to learn how to play this entirely. Like, I mean, this is still my first playthrough, right? This is all stuff. I have not watched any videos on YouTube or, or, or played this through at all on my own. Like this is the first time I've played it. So be gentle on me, be gentle. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, there's our second team working on their... Oh, Sid Myers! Sid Myers is on that one. Cool, cool. Alexi, Sid, I think Alexi's the one with the, the L on his shirt. And Hugh, and and another Alex. We've got a lot of guys with the same names, but whatever. Let's just double check our fridge and stuff, make sure we're doing the right stuff. So we've got the hot dogs, and of course the orange juice. <laughs> orange juice and hot dogs for everybody because it makes them work more efficiently. It doesn't make any sense, but yeah, there we go. All right, so, and Rob Zombie Tariff Flying is going really well. We're up to 830. Let's speed things up just a little bit after I kill all this stuff. Money, yeah, blah, blah. Um, oh, 2018 Ceremony. Oh, that was last year. So this is all old news. All right, so let's just fast forward. Yay, everybody's going home. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, we get to see how much money we made. Ah. $514,000. I think that's an increase from last month, isn't it? I think so. We had some new releases and we did we did start some new projects too, though. I don't know. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm all right with that. <gasps> it is the awards. Okay, so this is a 2018 awards. Spiky Balls Go. Vlampyr. Intro Surge in Software. Uh, uh, Introversion. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. Vlampyr. I don't know who Vlampyr's supposed to be. Double Pine, of course. That's uh, Double Fine, whatever. Uh, Telltale. Yes, te Telltale Games. There is a company called Telltale Games. And Firaxis. Not Firaxis. Fir it's so great. I love it. The most productive studio goes to Spiky Balls. Cheaper wages. Excellent. Thank you. And who's next? Most beloved studio is given to the studio that has the most fans. And that won't be us. Oh, man. I, I want nothing more to, to be number one in these awards. That's my goal in this game. Fire Axis, Fire Axis games. Good job, Fire Axis. Jerks. Jerks. They don't even have, they don't even have spikes on, the, on, on their balls. We have spikes on our balls. That sounds so bad. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Okay, and the highest charted game goes to... Not us. Ah, Fire Axis. See, the newcomers... So for some reason, it's they cheat. They totally cheat. Highest revenue studio is given to the studio that managed to get the most revenue this year. That won't be us either. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think so, though. Highest revenue studio goes to... Spiky Balls! No kidding! That's the first time we got that one. We got a quality bonus for that. We made the most money, guys! Oh, that's wicked. Largest studio is given to the studio with hires the largest team. That's us. That should be us. Give us a sales boost. And the award goes to... Spiky balls! Wow! Good job! We won three awards this time. That's it? Oh, that was better than last year. I think last year we only got two awards. I'm pretty happy with that. So, awesome. Um, we still need to do that large game, but, you know, we got to make some money first, because that large game is, it's, it's monumental. Like, it's huge. 
We still have this one. Oh, looks like we're all done with the sound for Rob Zombie Terror Flying, the role-playing game. Then we have Rob Zombie Prankster, spelt slightly differently because we're edgy, because we're an edgy company. Um, we could actually, um, we could do another, hold on. Slow down, slow down, guys. We could do another game. Let's just do another, you know, we just, let's just go crazy. Let's go crazy. Absolutely insane. Core. Oh. Ah, uh, hmm. Uh, Apple Core Original Goo! Apple Core Original Goo. I love it. And this is going to be, this is going to be, not role playing, not a simulation. This, oh, no, no, no. Horror. Oh, no. Apple Core. Hold on. Apple Core. No, 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 hold on. Moldy Apple Core Goo, the horror game. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, it's so retarded. I love it. Horror game. Awesome. And we've got enough people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could totally do that. Um, we're missing a coder. Oh, man. We don't have a coder. Ah, uh, that's okay. You know what? That's okay. It doesn't matter. I mean, it probably matters. But... That's okay. Uh, we it's we don't really need a coder. I mean, this this is actually a this doesn't need a lot of coding. Like, I mean, this game just won't need a lot of coding. So we'll take two sound guys, and uh, we'll have everybody that is coming in on the project do help with the coding, which will be super fast anyway. And we'll do art and yeah, that'll work well. Yeah, yeah. But maybe maybe we'll do two newbie sound guys, just to give them some practice. Oh, team is already full. So uh, sorry. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, so Samuel. Oh no, we want to. We don't because we're gonna have to be training him or putting him on the uh, the machine that gives him the bionic implant, so he's not bad anymore. So there we go. Okay, perfect. Moldy Apple Core Goo the horror story. So the only thing we we don't get the multi, the higher level coding tools, but that's okay. It doesn't matter because, like I said, I don't know how much that'll actually impact the game. I think the skill in sound is gonna impact the game even more. We don't have a lot of skill in sound. We're actually doing this to give them more skill. So I don't know. I think. I think it's a good plan. <gasps> Rob Zombie Terror Flying is complete! 1846? I, I think our last one's... Hold on, I need to look at our statistics first really quick. Because I think our... Yeah, our last one... Our last medium game was way better. 2095 and 2082 and we've come down to 1846. So this is actually a terrible medium game for us. Ooh. We, we must have had... I think we were just training up some new guys, right? So... We are not spending money on large publishing. <gasps> 898,000, 2.6 million on large publishing marketing. Like, sorry, marketing? That's insane. Okay, we'll do small. Even that's, that's so much money. I think we'll do no marketing. Okay, no marketing. Oh, uh, that's just so expensive. It's a million bucks just in marketing. Okay, small marketing. Okay, I'm compromising. This isn't going to be, yeah, this is, we could, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> three out of five and a four out of five. Those are our lowest. That's not bad. Okay. VGN said times are hard for role-playing games, but Rob Zombie Terror Flying sure stands out from the pack. Recommended. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um, let's just, we should start reading these assistant notes too, because I think that's important. Make sure that your office has plenty of plants or statues. Worker happiness directly impacts game quality. You know, we haven't checked that for a while, so we should probably do some checking on that. Yikes. Okay, so uh, Rob Zombie Prankster, the RTS version of that, is going to be out soon. And we've got our new game, which is going into pre-production right now. We should maybe start another medium project right away, because we need to make the money. Um, but actually, before we do that, let's check to make sure... And Yeah, we need to enhance anybody that's ready to be enhanced. Let's get Samuel in there. Yes, remove negative trait. And let's get who else? Uh, we've got John Doe. Good name. Good name, John Doe. Excellent. And any training that needs to happen. I think we're pretty much done. We could, of course, Gabe, I think Gabe was doing uh, the new coding engine. Um, but you know what? Let's start a new project first before we do any more training. And then anybody that's left over can go for their level three and stuff. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do another new project. Yes, because we're just, we're just building games like crazy because we need to make a lot of money. All right, anything else that's big? Um, shooters, eh, strategy. I think we have a strategy coming, don't we? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what's coming anymore. Horror's coming. We we know there's a horror coming. 
Um, shooter, I think we'll pause it here for a second. We'll do the shooter, I mean, I don't know, it's not great, but you know, we gotta do something, right? This is gonna be a medium game, maybe we should wait. You know what, no, <laughs> we're not waiting. Uh, no, uh, this is Planet, <laughs> hold on, Planet Pigs? No, 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 no. Those of you who've been around for a while will know what this is about. Pigs and frogs in space. Yay! And it's a shooter, and it's pigs against frogs. I love it! I love it! Brilliant. And it's based on the Muppets, in case you're wondering. All right. So, and then let's get our team together. So, uh, this is going to be all experts in their fields. Uh, definitely need multiple coding guys, because, of course, this is going to be a game that relies highly on the coding skills. So, we'll get three coding guys, for sure. And then two art guys? No, we're not going to use him because he needs he needs enhancements. So I guess I guess we'll do another writer. I guess nope, not him. Oh, the, all three of these guys need enhancement. You know what? That's okay. We'll we'll use we'll use the art guy then. That's fine. That's fine. I think it's more important to get another game out right away. Besides, that guy needs some practice anyway. So yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. One point six million to put this into production. Uh, plus, yeah, one point eight million. Sorry, total 1.8 billion to put pigs and frogs in space. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and let's end the day here. Oh, this is super fun. I'm really enjoying this, but I don't know how many times I could play this game all the way through because it seems pretty linear. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of random chance when it comes to these the building these games. It seems pretty, pretty straight up. Wow, we lost 2.8, sorry, 2.1 million bucks. Spent 2.9 million on projects. Wow, okay, yeah, we are making money, but wow. Okay, well, let's take a look at some of the uh, projects. Oh, project doesn't have enough room with enough tables. Yeah, it's it's there. It's just you're working on something else because we're still doing pre-project stuff for moldy apple core. No, no, should be good to go. Should have enough room. I think this is all old messages again. I, I never check the messages as, as they come in. Okay, so let's just check to see the, oh, there we go. So, uh, the, this is the overall stats. Let's see if we, let's go to the global charts. That's what I want to see. Global games. So the number one game is Rome Railroads. Man, and Jane's Kung Fu Puzzle, which was us. We're number two, so that's good, but we need, we need another hit. We need another really big hit. So our last one was Jane's Kung Fu Puzzle Rumble. <laughs> what the, where did these names come from? Uh, Oh, cool. Neat. Okay, yeah, and uh, let's just see something here. Uh, the studio, the number one studio is Fire Access Games. We are number four. Ah, <sighs> not good, not good! But these guys came in with some game that gave them like 12,000 fans from one game. That's bull. Bull crap! Okay, so oh, look at Double Pine. They've got 14 million in the bank. They can afford to do some large-scale games. Yeesh. Scary. Okay. All right, our team can't work because these guys... They're still doing pre-production on, on, on uh, moldy apple core goo. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, there's our RTS, our strategy game. Yeah, cool. Oh, that's terrible for a small game. Yikes. Okay, publish. We are not giving it any marketing. No, I gotta give it some, just a little bit. That's terrible though for a small game because I think our last small game was like 600 and some. Yeah, three out of five with VGN. Two out of five for Ko Kodaku? In the strategy genre, people have come to expect a certain degree of quality, which Rob Zombie Prankster does not provide. That's what happens when you have offshoot, offshoot games, though. Offshoot games never do very well. Okay, all right. <sighs> I accept that. I accept it. That's okay. So really what we need to do is add another table here so that we can do small games at the same time. Whatever. We're, doesn't look like we're doing very well right now, but once once, once, uh, once these uh, games really start rolling, so like this, our new medium game should start making some pretty serious money. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't top of the charts. Uh, where is it? Rob Zombie, oh, I keep hitting that build button. Rob Zombie Terra Flying. Um, even though it wasn't as good as our last medium game, it's, I mean, it's still 1846. It should make its money back anyway. Uh, we've sold 29,000 copies, or is that $29,000 in sales? I think that's... not sure. Oh no, yeah, we've sold, uh, $894,000 worth of the game so far. We're selling lots! Yeah, we'll sell lots. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so let's do some training while we're winning here, and now the other 10 guys are gonna come and make use of this table. And actually, what we should do... We should make another table. 
That's what we need to do. So let's do that. Let's make another table so that we can actually do, have another team working on that table too as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, I could shift this one over and do another table. Nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's all good. <laughs> Gabe is still working on his his level three. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so let's get, uh, let's get another guy working on his level three too, because why not? Because why not? Okay, so. Uh, yeah, he's a he's a writer. We've got three writers in here, so lot, yeah, so we can do, actually do another game now. <laughs> uh, we're we're highly productive, highly productive. Okay, so let's go here. New project. This is going to be a small game, and there's really nothing. Oh, simulation. All right, this is going to be a simulation. Um, team fortress. Uh Team Fortress, kids, no, no, Team Fortress, no, 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 Team Fortress, uh, oh, here we go, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, plushy, plushy, oh, sorry, hit the caps button, plushy Team Fortress, so, oh, wow, not caps, why caps, no, plushy, plushy Team Fortress, so it's Team Fortress with plushies. That's terrible. It's awful. Every name I picked here is terrible. It's awful, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, we need a coder. Oh yeah, coding is very important in this one. And of course an art guy and a writing guy. And uh, let's not use this writing guy because he's due for some enhancement. Let's use this writing guy. So yeah, that should work out well. Perfect, good practice for these guys too as well. So they're terrible names, but these are not necessarily gonna be our, our hits. <laughs> these are just to fill some space and maybe make a few bucks so that we can do our large project, which I'm hoping that we can do this episode. That is kind of my goal. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not looking good because we need to make a lot of money. A lot of money, a lot of money. So yeah, that should be enough room. I think, oh, there's a guy. Oh, it's a Tetris. That's what it is. It's a, That's right. I remember this from last time. It's a, it's a Tetris Tetris block he's got on his shirt. That's so cool. Sid Myers is in this one. Oh, Sid Myers should be doing some like railroad games or something. Uh, Moldy Apple Core Goo is coming along okay. Pigs and Frogs in Space. Ew, 312. <laughs> the problem is we're not really going after, like we're not really specializing in anything. Like we're just kind of hitting everything until we get good at stuff. You know, it's, it's taken a while, it's taken a while. That's all right. Um, so do we have the, uh, uh, oh yeah, enhancement. We can do another guy enhancement. All right, Jeffrey, uh, Dick. Dick really, he arrives, he arrives really late to work and that's unacceptable. Dick is now in the machine. <laughs> Doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> uh, trade worker, yeah, let's train Jeffrey. Jeffrey, he's the only guy left over. He might as well learn how to write really, really well. Uh, right, uh, 10,000, he's gonna become a level three writer. Perfect, and Gabe should be just about done. And there goes another day. Look, we are starting to make money. Uh, Rob Zombie Terror Flying is coming along. Rob Zombie's Prankster is coming along. Both will be making money soon. Look at this, Jane's Kung Fu Puzzle made 3.7 million. Five Nights at Gabin's, of course, made almost $4 million. That's pretty crazy. When you think about like, we have a total of like 6.5 million in the bank, basically 4 million of that came from one game. That's incredible. So we made uh, 1.7 million in profit this time around. Yeah, we're starting to, money's starting to roll in. I love it, I love it. Okay, we've got to speed this up. We've got to make more money, more money. <laughs> uh, so pigs and frogs in space. I'm hoping that we can hit around 2000 in quality. That would be amazing. Um, we need another, we need another $4 million game. That's what we need. And plushy Team Fortress is going to be, you know, around the, I think it's going to be around 500 for finished product. Um, and I don't think we have enough guys to do another game. Pardon me. I don't think we do. Well, we'll just double check. I think because everybody's in training and such. Perfect. Let's just fast forward it and uh, see how moldy apple core goo does. Dun, dun, dun. I'm thinking, yeah, maybe 520. That's what I'm thinking. No, it's not gonna be that much. I know, yeah, that was that one had a lot of sound in it. I remember now. <laughs> um, this is a horror game. So you start the game as an apple. Somebody takes a bite and the mold starts to seep into the core. 527, hey, I was pretty close. All right, so we're gonna do small marketing for that and publish. You know, we're getting about the same amount of fans for the even the small games and we did it for the medium games. Yeah, it's honestly, it's not good. Honestly, our quality over the last couple of years has been terrible. We need to improve it. Our balls are not as spiky as they could be. They could be way spikier. 
All right, and uh, Pigs and Frogs in Space is coming along. We could start a new project or maybe, maybe even train some guys. What do you think? I think we should start training our guys. Yeah, let's get Dylan C up to a level three. Perfect. And we could probably, I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. We will move around these tables. We got this one over here and we're gonna move this one. Oh, we can't. Oh, I was kind of hoping we, because we can't put it on this side, because then it'll all count as one table. Can't put it on this side or it'll block off these things. Uh, but they can come around. Yeah, they can come around. What I want to do is put down a couple more training cubicles. Uh, I think that should be good. I should, let's just do one for now. <laughs> I'm going to get this all blocked off and they can't, they won't be able to go anywhere. All right, so... How many guys do we have left that are sitting idle? Okay, so we actually need two more training cubicles. So we got Mark M trained in Udacity, which is, of course, Audacity. I love it. And we'll do one more training cubicle. I think maybe even two, I don't know. We'll try one and then, yeah. All right, so there, let's do that and train this guy. Oh no, no, we're good. Actually, we didn't even need this one because we've got enough people to do another small project. You see what I'm doing, you see what I'm doing. I want to keep everybody busy, busy, busy. So let's go, let's do another new project. And this one is going to be a small game because we have four people left. And let's see, let's go for, oh uh, no, we got a shooter in production, we got a simulation in production. I don't know, it doesn't have to be anything special. I guess we could do another racing game. Strike Cogs, ugh, oh, Strike. Ah, Kitten, 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 Strike. Hold on, this is a racing game, oh. Uh, fast kittens. Fast. Ah, fast. Crazy. Crazy. Hold on. Ah. Crazy. Oh, I ran out of. Fast. Crazy. Kitten. Dogs. Ah, fast crazy kitten dogs. Hold on, I didn't spell that right. Crazy kitten dogs. That's a stupid name. <laughs> I love it. All right, fast crazy kitten dogs. All right, and of course, this is mostly just to keep, the, you know, keep these guys training up nicely, right? So there we go. Um, we need a coder. Of course, we don't have a coder in this team. That's okay. Um, he can do some coding. He can do some art. I know we're all over the place with this game, but we're just, like I said, we're just trying to make some money, and it's just about quantity right now, and keeping everybody working and doing something. So there we go, let's fast forward it now. Not really fast forward it, but we're gonna put it in fast speed. Maybe put it in really super ultra fast speed. Ultra fast speed! Um, 2182 P Pigs and Frogs in Space is gonna be our best game ever. <gasps> super stoked! And it's based on the Muppets. Aw, oh, I love the Muppets. The Muppets was such a good show. I loved it, I loved it! As a kid, kid kid, like real kid. Um, It's actually gonna be our best game ever. The best game we've ever produced, I'm super stoked. Um, let's just move it a little bit faster. Yeah, it's gonna be, I mean, our best game so far has been 2095. This is better than that. Look at that, 2274, pigs and frogs in space. Awesome, so this is going to be, we'll do, should we do some bigger marketing? Uh, no, I think we do small, we do small marketing. I don't know, maybe that's our problem. Maybe we should be doing bigger marketing. Let's do a little bit bigger marketing. I think that only affects the amount of fans that we get though. Let's try it, that's that's a lot of money. Ah, uh, yeah, see we didn't get that many extra fans. I wonder if it affects directly affects the amount of money we make total in the game? I don't know, but that was a lot of money. Two million? That might have been a huge mistake. I guess we're gonna see. So we have to remember, pigs and frogs in space, we spent two million in marketing for, that is insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. So that should free up some room for us to do another game. And this can be another medium game. The problem is nothing's really hot right now. So maybe we should wait until something becomes popular again. Because look at this. Everything's just garbage. <laughs> simulation. Oh yeah, we've got a simulation coming. So yeah, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna chillax. And maybe uh, anybody need any enhancement? Well, yes, Josh needs some enhancement. There you go. Enhance yourself, Josh. And maybe what we'll do is we'll get rid of one of these machines now and put some more training machines in. Yeah, I think that's a good idea because, uh, of course, <laughs> lots of time to put people up to level three in their respective fields. So let's 
let's go here and we're going to get rid of one of these enhancement machines. Uh, yeah, this one here. And we're gonna move the other one right over here. And then of course that gives us a little bit of room. Actually we can, uh-oh, <laughs> whoops. Uh, put it right there. Yeah, see, perfect. And then, uh, there's, uh, yeah, there's no room to do anything else. I thought there might be, but oh well. We can actually put training machines. We can do two here. Can't do any here. That stinks. I suppose we, no, we still can't. No, 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 there's no room. Oh, we're out of time again. Man, it's hard to get to, to large games. Um, just the amount of money that's needed. Maybe we're publishing too much crap. Maybe we need to publish better stuff. Like need to, need to wait until um, the market changes or something and people get more interested in games. Okay, so let's put, let's put a couple training cubicles. Uh, one there. We can do one there. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess we can do one there, I guess. People can still get in behind here, I guess. That doesn't seem right, does it? I don't know. Can people actually get in? Oh yeah, we can do, no, we can't do. The... We can do one there, there we go. There we go, and we'll just sell this one. I don't know, maybe. Uh... Let's move this one to here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that's, that's good, that's good. Let's go back, close this up. Uh, yeah, you can get at your spot. What are you talking about? You're good. What do you mean you can't get? You can, it's not blocked, dude. You can go there. There you go. Close that, open that, nope. Seems like you can get there just fine. Maybe they can't get here? I don't know. Hold on, let's move it again. Cause sometimes it gets bugged out like that. Just put it back like so, and done. Perfect. All right, so let's train the rest of these guys. Get everybody we can up to level three. Yeah, the thing is we're also spending a lot of money, so that's another reason why we haven't been able to do our, our large scale games is we've just been spending money like crazy, but it should all pay off, right? In the end, it's all gonna pay off. There we go, lots of people training. Yes, uh, should we save the last four? Uh, we should have saved. The problem is we've got, uh, we don't have the right skills here now. We've got a, we've got a art guy, we've got a coder, no, we've got a coder of art. That's uh, whatever, doesn't matter. Let's just train him. Train him! <laughs> By next episode, we will have large games, I swear. Working on it. Because here at Spiky Balls, we work it. We work on things and we make it happen. Why is that not working? There we go, train, there we go. There we go, perfect. All right, guys, I'm gonna call that an episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. We are getting close to being able to do large games and then moving to our last city, which is San Francisco. We will do that next time with Spiky Balls Go. All right, take care, guys.